what's happening guys so in this video this is gonna be deep it's gonna be real deep so stay tuned I've heard of some others speaking about the end of times we are living in the end of times and I don't know for sure if they're thinking of the same things I'm thinking of But when I think of the end of times, when I think of what's going on in the world right now currently and how things really are, not what you think they are, what they really are. And if you know what they really are, your eyes are opened. Congratulations. You're not an idiot. Ah, oh, man. The world is under nothing more than a bunch of witchcraft, a bunch of magic tricks, magic spells, delusion is at an all time high. People are being fooled. Women today, and I don't mean to make this about a gender, but women today in general, if you look at how things are, they're deceiving more people than you'll ever know. But you can't do it to me. And there's a lot of people I know personally that you cannot do it to either because we know what's going on. And we are standing firm in the midst of the storms. When we talk about this being the end of times, when you think about the next generation coming and what they're being brought into, because we are living in times right now that we have never before as a human race have ever lived in before, ever. We've never lived in these times. This is new. We're like 10 years in, bro. We're like 10 years in deep. Let's say from 2013 till now, the world started changing drastically and it's gotten more toxic and toxic and toxic and toxic and toxic and worse. Things are becoming more sexualized. Things are becoming more crazy as the days are going on. It's completely insane. And I think it comes down to laziness. Women don't want to be women anymore. Their true colors are showing. They're like, ha, huh, we have power. We're going to be masculine. We're going to do all these things. And now you're just not wanted. You actually put yourself in a position to get used because you're not what men want. It's screwing up the race of males from this happening. It's screwing up the race of females from this happening. The gender, I mean. It's, that's all it's doing. So when we speak of the end of times... This is kind of how I see it. The world is never going to be the same, bro. This stuff has never been like it is. Ever. It's only getting crazier. Like, bro, I can't even have a conversation with people anymore. People are paranoid. People are weird. I, could, I couldn't go up to some random hot chick and just have a conversation with her. She can't stand there and have a conversation with me. She can't. So why am I going to come up to her and just startle her and scare her for her life? She can't. She can't speak with me. The last night I went out, it was actually before I even moved into this spot that I'm in now. It was in June and I moved in this place. June 27th. I, I think it was a few weeks before I come here. I did talk to a few people. When people are drinking, you might be able to have an easier time talking to some ladies and stuff like this. And it's not like no woman on earth is going to be able to speak with me. Of course they will. But people have become less human. Like people resort to getting drunk to even be able to have a conversation with you, bro. This is what's going on. People have become very awkward because of social media. These are the times we're living in. People don't want to grow up. 
Women don't want to be women. And this and, and like to see the next generation coming up, there's four, five, six year old kids. Bro, one of my older friends has a couple daughters. I've been to his place before. His daughter's curled up on the couch. That young. With an iPad straight in her face. Like, we didn't grow up like that. If you're my age, which is still fairly young, and older, we did not grow up that way. This is what's coming in. And the, the delusion that's setting in from what they're seeing since pretty much birth is going to warp their mind because it's not real. It's all witchcraft. Witchcraft is what's going on. And if you're not smart enough to see it, you too are screwed. The whole thing here is, bro, is you cannot be deceived. You can't be deceived by this world. You can't put women up higher than they really are. And it's not to diminish them. It's, no, this is what you are. Not what you want us to think you are. You just, you, you're still good. Like, why do they want to be put up so high? I don't understand. Like, you could have been good enough. Why does it have to go this far? Why do things have to go that far? It's beyond me. But it's the world we're living in today of witchcraft, of deception. And if you're stupid enough, you will fall into this. If you're stupid enough, you will believe her, for example. You will believe what you're seeing. Not what you know, what you think you know. You think you know, but it's wrong. You don't know because you're deceived. And this is how I see the end of times happening. It's not that the world is going to come to an end necessarily. The world's still going to be here. We're still going to be here. But it's about creating communities of like-minded individuals and living amongst the walking dead. And a lot of these individuals, bro, who's doing this, they're the ones that are going to be sorry. As long as you stay true to yourself, and do the things you're supposed to be doing. That's all that matters. Because all these others, the, all the others, they're going to get it. Their time is coming. They can't live that way forever. Their time is coming. Their biological clock is ticking. Day by day by day by day by day. You're getting a little bit closer. And pretty soon, the witchcraft, the games... It's gonna be. It's gonna be over. And because of this, there's gonna be a lot of crazy people on Earth. Even more than there is right now, there's gonna be a lot of crazy people, bro. This is what witchcraft does, and it's not gonna be good. I have predictions that I might keep to myself right now. Because, bro, we can't even speak the truth of our minds without getting called haters. Without getting called misogynists. Without getting called bad people. Oh, you just this and that, bro. <laughs> like, we are completely gaslit. The good people in the world who are speaking the truth, who is bringing the truth to light because of how much crazy shit is happening, is getting gaslit. I'm gaslit all the time. Others who speak the raw, real truth are gaslit all the time. Called haters, misogynists, misandries, whatever you want to call it. It's happening to all of us. He who speaks the truth is hated the most. They come back and say we hate. They say we hate because we tell the truth. They'll never be like, oh yeah, that's true. You think they're going to agree to your truth? No, they're just going to call you a hater. They're just going to call you a misogynist. They're not going to say, oh yeah, he's right. 
The only thing they're going to think is, oh, that, how that made me feel. Oh, he must hate me. That's what they're going to, that's what they think. All of them. I've seen this happen so many damn times, bro. To myself, not to, only to myself, to others as well. To a lot of others. A lot. To even women. It's really not a gender thing. Just be on point. Know your role. Know who the you are. That's that's my shit. Know who you are. Know your role. Otherwise, you be fooling people. But you're not gonna fool me. And you're not gonna fool the people I know. And they be the ones calling us these names all over the internet and you see it happening to others all over the internet we are the heroes they are the villains pretending like they're the ones doing the right thing no 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 you selfish you are the true villain but they make us to be the villains they, they make us into the villains we're here to save the day we're here so people can live happy and healthy lives. And they're the ones that ruin the world for their own selfish gain. You guys have to see what's going on. I couldn't make this any more clear if I possibly tried. <laughs> I couldn't. Oh my goodness. But it's happening. The wickedness in the world, it's only getting worse. People are only getting worse. People are only stooping lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. Thinking they're doing the right thing. You're not doing the right thing at all. We need to bring back tradition. There's a reason it's been going on for as long as, as long as it's been going on. There's a reason it has had high success rates for as long as it's had. There's a reason why we're in such a ruckus right now and for the last while and why num the statistics, the numbers are plummeting. Because we have all this witchcraft and deceiving going on. That's what's going on. And I know what's going on. I know damn well what's going on and I know a lot of you guys know what's going on as well. And it's insane. I really believe it stems down to delusion and people just not growing up. I've had females the same age as myself when I was like 18, 19 years old. I remember making significant changes at those ages. Just trying in life. Just, just being better. And I'd get hit with the, why are you trying so hard? Yo, you used to be so like this. Why are you doing this? Why are you still a child? Why are you still a toddler? We're creeping up to the adult age. So you're not going to change. This is what's going on with the world, bro. This is what's going on with the world. Selfish people who don't want to just grow up. They want to drink. They want to do all these crazy things. Live my life. Your ancestors are puking right now. They're in so much pain, they're puking. Looking at you. <sighs> and then they turn into the biggest haters on earth. They call us hateful people. Oh my God, they're haters. We're just partying, living our lives. Oh, they're just hating on us. We're telling you the truth. We're telling you the truth. Like, I keep doing that, I guess. 
But it's people like you that are ruining the world. It's people like them that are deceiving men. You see them on social media with a guy. They're doing certain things with this guy. And guess what they're, guess what they're doing next? They're with another guy now. And then another. And then another. And they took from him. And then him. And then him. You know why, you know why I was single since 21 till now? Not that I didn't have anything going on with, with some females, but single, not, not, not solidly in a relationship. Because I wasn't going to be one of those guys who's going to take a female on, who's going to give her all this stuff, who's going to pay for a whole bunch of stuff, probably trips, everything else, and then just get left. Because I'm being used. If you're going to come into my life, you're going to add value. What do these females do? They go around and they deceive. And they gaslight people like us. Pointing their big, not big I guess. They're pointing their fingers at us. Everything they do is right, right? In their minds. But you are truly evil and sinister. And I know deep in your, your heart, you know it. But they're going to continuously gaslight us. We do the right things. We are men of honor. And I respect the real women in the world that are real women of honor. Everything else, witchcraft. Everything else, lies. Everything else, deception. They make it seem as if it's not like that. It is like that. You're just mad because you're put on blast. You're just mad because your ass is caught red-handed. Your ass is redder than my shirt. <laughs> oh my God. And for any one that disagrees with what I'm saying. I am convinced you yourself are genuinely evil. You don't know what you're talking about and you have probably done these things yourself. Most likely. You have not lived like a man or woman of honor. You simply manipulate. You simply don't care. And this is why the world is going, this is why the world is the way it is. Without social media, none of these things are possible. You guys understand that, right? I'm not saying a breakup is impossible, but the way women monkey branch today is nothing like we've ever seen. Men are just used pylons. <laughs> guys that I know should not be single, but they are because they have value and they're not stupid. They're ready for the real deal, but the real deal is, is in the process of being washed. All of a sudden, they're not going to be the real deal. Guess what? At one, at one point in time, Kim Mathers, Eminem's ex-wife, used to be a smoke show. She used to be a good looking lady, right? And guess what? It didn't, it, it, it did not end that way. She gets in these addictions. She gets on the pills. She wants to attempt suicide and all this other kind of crazy shit. Eminem, a megastar. He wins, she loses, she's nothing, he's everything. So stay true to yourself. And it's so funny how people will turn this video, some people, those of you that are smart understand what I'm saying. It's funny how there are individuals so crazy and bitter and hateful out there that they will turn my video and point it back at me and gaslight me for telling this truth. I'm advocating doing better in this crazy world. That's what I'm advocating. Don't be such a lost cause. People are so selfish in their ways. They are liars. They are in liars. And this is what the world has come to today. Manipulation. That's why I don't have Snapchat. It's all fake. 
I question if anything is ever real anymore. That's how fake and watered down everything has become. The whole world is witchcraft. All these people out here, bro, <clears throat> they're lucky there's laws saving them. I'd slap so many people upside their head, bro, if I could. They're lucky. They're lucky. A lot of individuals walking earth today are lucky. There's so many things, bro, that is just wrong with this world. The laws are wrong. Everything's wrong. Everything's turned upside down. And the people with real intentions, the people that are doing the real things, are getting shit on the hardest. But we always win in the end. Look at the horrific pasts of some of the most successful people you know today that live the best lives. They're still out. The thing is, it's going to be rough for a while. It was rough for me for a while. It gets better. I'm telling you guys full well. It gets better. And it's only going to get worse for them. It's only going to get worse for them. And we ain't going to, we ain't playing Captain save a ho We ain't going to save the day. <laughs> we ain't doing none of that. We're going to live the lives that we deserve to live, how it should have been all along. But there's just crazy psychopaths out there that just want to ruin it for everybody else. And all we're the bad ones, right? Because we want traditional things. We want things to be the way they should be. We're bad. Oh my God. How dare you exploit our witchcraft and our manipulative behaviors and our toxic BS? How dare you? No. How dare you? <laughs>